uh, ik ben Trisje. Um, ja, wat wil ik? <laughs> uh, ja, ik wil het unicorn kot. <laughs> Trisje wants uh, the blood new and she wants the new uh, pink yes. color in and a bit of blue and purple. <laughs> Something is exploding. Purple. <laughs> yeah. Once purple, she wants uh, blue and uh, uh, the most color will be pink. Yeah. But first, we're going to light it up again so we can get into the lighter shades of pink. Will you turn so they can see your hair? Thank you. A symmetrical bob yes. line. Hello friends on YouTube, I'm going to do her hair. Before I start, I'm going to light it up and then uh, cut it and give it a new color and wonderful new line. The last time she was asymmetrical and she had uh, a nape shave. And maybe we go for a little bit more exciting SMS lines. Start with protection. Okay. Gonna make her bleach with uh, 9% as sturdy volume. And I start applying on the outgrow. In the bleach I do mostly a conditioner, also in this time, because I love to nurse the hairs while I'm bleaching it. Take first the outgrow onto a higher level and then take the rest up a bit because her natural colors is a bit red, blonde red, so her color takes up the, the golden tones. And of course, so do I do all her hair. I set in the outgrow. Now, gonna cover this up. Gonna wait till about 20 minutes, watch what's happening. The contour I protect a bit with garter wick. Just to prevent the heat from the plastic foil. So it don't irritate the skin that much. Close the foil. Then, what I told you, 20 minutes, and then we're back to show you how much the blonde is. And I can set in the rest of the color. And I cannot get all the pink out, but it doesn't, it's not necessary because we're going for pink and blue and purple. And I left out the nape shape because she has his nape shape, but it works much nicer when it's not bleached. And so you see the natural colors. So, we'll be back. Don't go away. So we're back from bleaching. Now it's almost uh, Thank a shame if we <laughs> change the colors because yeah. there's still wonderful transplant colors in it. But now first to start with cut. Start in the nape shape and then uh, make the asymmetrical lines with a hot eraser of Ego. Give her a nice pink cape. Because <laughs> pink looks good on me. <laughs> Who is it? Who was the guy? The Pink Panther! Oh yeah! Woohoo! It's so cool! Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Starting in the neckline. Coming to the next year. And you see, this is the natural core. You see how dark her natural color is. Parting the nape shape. Take my large Keone clipper. Put my blade to the back. Work away the hairs that go to the opposite lines.
And when you get used to a nape shave, it's very hard to say goodbye to it because it feels wonderful. I always hear this best back of the models, but also of the girlfriends and friends, because a lot of people like to touch that. Can touch it. Can touch it. <laughs> With a small clipper, I clean the contour even better. And because she has blonde hair, I don't need a razor blade to do this. But what I like to do is to give it a little tattoo art. And by doing this kind of things, you have a little secret always in the neckline. So when somebody sees this, this is always nearby. And it's always as a surprise. You can see she has a real uh, sensitive skin, so it lights up in the red colors. But you see that that's why the bleach was so nice on there. It was not too hard. Let's start on the cut. Free the hairs. Knowing that this side was longer than that side. So I'm parted in the lines of the eyebrow line. Lay the upper hair aside. And this is the guide for my first line. Now she would like to get some more asymmetrical effect in it. So then I was going to give her. Pulling the hairs to the front. Again watch at the eyebrow lines. And the nice thing of this uh, tool is that it seals the hairs and just flows through the hairs. Give always a nice soft frame of the hairstyle. Go back over the same line. Set it in the same angle. And watch in the meantime also at the chin lines because I can adapt that lines also into my hairstyle. Take a new line on it. And while I get higher up, I know that I have also to find the angle to that side, so in the front I work down. And again I work in the chin lines. Find myself the connection on the lines I already cut. And then twist them around and work from the other side.
and again connect all the lines on the baseline. Let's see how much shorter this looks. Yeah. From this part, I go a bit in an angle over the center of the skull, over the rounding of the skull, and it has in that natural fall. Using all the lines of the skull into this line, so I copy all the lines. Go to the baseline again. And over the roundings of the skull bone to the other side. Take from the center line of the angled line a line over the roundings of the skull. Again, bend them into the lines of cutting. And make sure I get more length on our right side. And using all the roundings of the skull line, so you see that all the hair lays wonderful in the lines of our lines of the skull. Buy myself a new line. Again, it's the same line as the chin lines. Go to the baseline, go in, and just watch where the fall of the hair is. I want it just where the, the, the skull falls, I want to also the hairs to fall. But covering up still that wonderful undershave, so it stays a little secret. So it's a bit like a James Bond video, for your eyes only, because you already saw it. Part the line behind the ear, lay all the hairs in the natural roundings again. Go to my first line. And over the line of cutting to the other side. And you can already see that it becomes a symmetrical line. So now I have to control uh, my other model's blonde color. She will be glad it's off her skin. <laughs> so I'm back on this in a second. Okay, we're uh, the, the blonde of the other model. So I can go on with this hairstyle. That hair is in a wonderful condition, that's the most important thing. Yay. <laughs> yeah, it feels really good. It shines like hell. Or heaven. <laughs> so now this is my guideline for the sides. So I take the hairs on that, pull them to the back. So now I know for certain that I create more length because I take the natural roundings Take it on it and gently go in. Take a new line on it. Lay the hairs over the roundness of the skull again. Always use them. Put it to the back, over the rounding, so I get a little bit curved, so the upper length will be a little bit longer than the under length. And on her color, we're going to make a little bit change, not much, because she loves to get 
this transplant colors they are really wonderful on her so I can use some toners in ultra soft colors and make some playable effect in it without destroying all the hairs and the base colors and I will certainly do this in the longer parts Going to the front and they have it to the inside because the hairs on the side beard and below the holy bone always curve in. Go back to the front. Take the hairs over the fontanelle. and make an ultra fine connection the both lines to each other not much, just a little bit now we're so far the cut so now I can make some transplant, use some colors of kin and apply that on the hairs in a soft way, a playable way, so it looks like somebody just dropped it in. Later has some natural lines. I can make me the colors. Okay, make just some nice transplant colors. Play that as the natural roundings. Lift up a part. And these are toner colors, so they are not damaging the hair at all. And use them only on the upper parts. Not deep in. Let's put the colors of uh, Kin also into this uh, project. And I used also one color of uh, Illumi Play because I need uh, a bit di difference in the hair. So I have also a violet made. You're as pretty as pretty can be. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a leave on for uh, 50 minutes or something like that. Doesn't matter how much it takes. As she, as she can turn so you can see how the colors lay on her hair. Just nice, small, smart lines in color. So, and then I rinse it out with a lot of water so I don't uh, massage it in. And then we're back for styling. Okay, back, we rinsed it out. Now I'm going to use some uh, protection from blow drying. Take a felt uh, foam of glint. And on that, I take a bit of conditional spray. There's a come through there. And then I start blow drying. Start the longer side, so I start on this side. Should take uh, my new uh, blow dryer. That sounds like a plane. Take a large pedal brush.
knap dat hij dat kan. Ja, hij heeft ervoor gestudeerd. En hij, had, uh, hij zou mijn uh, jurk voor mijn uh, diploma uitreiken om de middelbare school maken. Mm -hmm. En toen heeft hij dat niet helemaal gedaan zoals hij het zou doen. En toen was mijn moeder een beetje boos. En uh, toen was hij zo van, oké, okay, je hebt nog een jurk van me te goed. En twee jaar geleden organiseerde ik het gala zelf. En toen dacht ik, oh, nu zou het wel heel tof zijn als ik nu een hele gave jurk heb. Mm -hmm. En ik was wel het mooiste meisje van het gala. <laughs> Of ik voelde me het mooiste meisje ja, van de ja, ja, <laughs> Dat is echt een belangrijk. Ja. Yeah. Dat is wel echt heel cool. Poeh, voor sofa bloot Ryan. Wat een rust. <laughs> ja, oh, dat is zo tof. They use a flexible hairspray, so I don't make it hard lines. Don't want that. Mooi in kleurtjes. So far a haircut, a new color, and nape shape as a hidden factor. I thank you for being my model, I thank you for watching. Till next time, she will turn so you see the end result. Thank you. 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 So yeah. But it comes also on the photos. Yeah. Thank you. Hoi. Uh, ik ben Trisje. Um, ja, wat wil ik? Ik ga het light it up again, so we can get into the lighter shades of pink. Wil je turn so they can see your hair? Dank je wel.